So in this next box, we're going to transition from one color to another with a different technique. In the first box, we used very light pressure so that you can still see the white of the paper shining through and it gives you a textured effect. This time we're going to press really hard and fill up all the tooth of the paper, super saturate it with color. When you do this, you might wind up breaking crayons. Fortunately, they still work just fine even if they're short. You might need to peel back some of the paper to access more material. But we're going to be layering the colors up one on top of the other so that they sort of skate and glide on top of each other. Is one way better than the other? Well, no, not necessarily. They're just different. In the first method, your hand won't become as tired from pressing so hard and it won't make as many crumbs on your paper. You're less likely to break your crayon, but it just gives you a different look. In the end, you just have to decide what look you're after. All right, on to the very last box. This time we're going to be creating texture and I want it to look like fur. So one trick you can use is to use a white crown first. I'm just going to make short, hard strokes across the paper with white and then go over the top of that with the black and brown. Little short strokes, pressing pretty hard and you can see that it will take differently according to whether or not there's white crayon underneath it. So it creates a varied tone without any extra effort by having the white there first. Now continuing to build up the color by layering uh, over the top with short black strokes. The same technique is great for creating the texture of grass. All right, and now one final touch, one of my favorite little tricks. You can take a pencil, I'm using a 2B pencil here, and kind of carve through the crown to the white base layer that you put down at first. It adds an additional level of detail, and it's a nice finish.